Today, I'm going to show how to start a new project in Visu Plus Express. Right now, I have the program open, but I haven't started any project yet, and we're going to start one now via the project wizard. So if we look here on the left hand side, we're going to see our project explorer, and if we come all the way down to commands, we can hit new project right there, and there's also an option to come up to file and hit new right here. Either one works. Now that we've hit new, it's going to bring up our project wizard. The first screen is create project, and the first aspect of that screen is the name. So for our name, for our demonstrative purposes, I'll just put create demo. You can obviously name it anything you like. The second part is going to be the Windows CE platform. This is where you're going to choose the HMI that you're going to be exporting to. Personally, I'm using a 7-inch display, the TP3070, so that is what I'm going to choose, but you obviously will choose whatever you are using. Once you choose your CE platform, it is going to automatically adjust your screen width, your screen height, and the color, depending on what you pick. So once that's selected, we're going to hit Next. Now it's going to bring in our project components. Here we can add different screens depending on what we're making. It automatically is going to add four basic screens where we can come in and right next to it hit define screen names. It allows us in the drop down menu to choose which screen we're using. So we'll start with screen one. We can call that screen tank. Confirm that. We can come to screen two and call that machine. Confirm. Come to screen three, we could call this lighting. Confirm that. Then we can come to screen four and we could call this trending, for example. Confirm and exit. So now those four basic screens have been named. We can add an alarm screen, for example. One or how many we'd ever we'd like, let's add two. And again, we can name the alarms, we'll just call the first one e-stop and leave the second one alarm screen too. We can do the same with log screens, trend screens, system pages, whatever you would like, you can choose or not choose and it will add it and you can define a screen name for each screen. Now we're going to hit next and come into our screen design. There's five choices here that we can add. The first is a navigation bar which is going to come across the bottom of your screen and it allows you to choose which screen you're on. With a navigation bar, on the right hand side you can see here we can choose navigation bar position and there's a preview here that if it's at the bottom you can see down here. If we move it to the left, it moves up or the right. So you can choose to have a navigation bar or not and where it's positioned. We can add a logo which is going to pop up in either top left or top right. As you can see the adjustment can be made in logo, image, and position and you can search your computer for that logo into your actual computer if you want to choose a file. We're going to cancel that though and not add a logo. Screen title, self-explanatory, if you'd like a screen title or not you can add that or take that away. That's always going to come up at the top of the screen. You can add buttons that are previous and next to and from the current screen that you're on. And the last thing you have the ability to add is a status bar which is going to come up across the bottom and give you a status of any variables, alarms, anything you might have going on in there. So once you select what you want added depending on the project you're doing, we can come down and hit finish and it's going to create our project. It doesn't bring up any screens but if you look on the left hand side in our project explorer we now have a project, the create demo project that I just made. All of our options are here and the first step in starting the project is opening the screens so if we see our screen here, we can expand that and we can open our lighting screen, we can open our machine screen, our tank screen, and then here's the alarm screen that we created and the trend screen that we created. All of those screens were simply opened up by double clicking on them and it opens them up and you now see our screens here and up top you can navigate between the different screens. That is how to start your first project in Visu Plus Express. 